What's going on, YouTube? It's Jam Ryan here, bringing you. Holy cow! What is this? What? Des Destiny? Destiny? That is correct. The Destiny gameplay. Um, but really, this is actually one of my army stories. I've been supposed to put out a couple weeks ago. Didn't happen. But here we are. Um, Destiny is in the background. Uh, obviously, Rise of Iron has come out, and a bunch of new, a new DLC, and my interest is renewed again. And I love playing Crucible. Crucible is so much fun, especially right now. Um, Iron Banner is going on right now, um, so I have a bunch of gameplay footage from that. I was in a six-man platoon, not platoon, squad. God, getting World of Tanks and Destiny all mixed up. Six-man squad for a fire team. And, uh, yeah, it has got a lot of good gameplay on during that session. I think we went, like, six games in a row where we didn't lose. It was freaking fantastic. I love playing with people that know what they're doing and especially when they're all communicating and telling them where everyone is and all that stuff too so i recommend if you're playing destiny and want to go crucible do a fire team for sure um anyways back to it um yeah this is uh army stories part three i believe yes yes it is and today i'm going to be talking about uh a guy that i knew uh, he was my roommate and uh yeah so the people if many of my friends watch this video or any of my army buddies watch this video they know i only had one roommate so they kind of figure out who it is i'm not gonna use his name obviously um but anyways yeah so me and this buddy we'll call him um george yeah george george like sounds like a good name so uh, George and I, we were buddies. Um, we came into uh, Baumler, Germany, which is where I was pretty much stationed for my army career. Um, came there together. Well, got there at the same time. Um, and sure enough, we both got sent down range together too. Um, he was this big old guy from Texas. And a really cool dude. Uh, super into working out. It was hilarious. So into working out and just the funniest guy ever. Super nice guy. And, uh, so, but like I said, he, he's a huge, I don't know, I don't call him a meathead, but he's just always into working out. And because he was always into working out, he always, um, uh, he, he, so, okay. Oh man, this is tough. So he somehow, I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he found somebody. He found somebody to sell him um anabolic steroids so he <laughs> took steroids because he was trying to just get so pumped up it was hilarious he would he's one of those guys that would drink protein shakes all the time and at this time we were roommates and oh my god if you know somebody who takes protein shakes their butthole smells so bad because some they just they fart flatulence all the freaking time and it's just horrible worst thing ever and uh anyways so he, so yeah he's one of those guys always had a protein shake always ate protein super fit ish i guess he just straight up just did nothing but lift weights so yeah he somehow got steroids from somewhere mail mailed to him through the army obviously the army doesn't always check stuff they just see this stuff come in, you know, whatever. And, uh, so he, so yeah, he, um, took this stuff. He was, uh, I remember specifically one day I come in and, uh, I'm just chilling on my bed or whatever. And, uh, he's like, all right, man, don't, don't look over here. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be injecting myself. I'm like, why would I even care to look over there? You know, that's kind of weird to say, but whatever. And then like, all of a sudden I hear this grunt and like, oh. Oh, oh, I'm like, what the heck is going on? Well, when you inject steroids, apparently, you have to get it right in the muscle. And this needle was right in the muscle. Well, if you've never done it before, not used to it, it hurts. So he's, like, sitting there. He's, like, oh, lunged over with this freaking needle sticking out his butt, off his butt cheeks. And it's just the funniest thing ever. Um, this dude was hilarious. But And then there was another time. Um, so in the army, when you re-up, re-up is when you decide to extend your contract he extended his contract and he got a huge bonus he was super excited and what's the first thing he wants to go he wants to go spend his money 
spend his money in Amsterdam. So he comes in the room. He's like, dude, we're going, going, we're going. I'm like, going where? He's like, we're going to Amsterdam. I'm like, Psh, are you paying? He's like, yeah, I just got my bonus in. I'm like, Psh, all right, I'm down. I'm, I'll let you pay for me. So he paid for our tickets down there. He paid for the hotel room. He paid for everything. So uh, if you don't know Germany, in Ger- like in Europe, you can basically get anywhere on the train. Bring them, yeah, on the train. You can get on any any train and cross nations, cross borders. You don't need a passport or anything. So get on a train and go. So it was really cool. We took the train all the way into Amsterdam. It was an awesome trip. Um, we get there. We get our little, our little, little hotel room. And uh, so, yeah. We go there and then we start walking around. We, um, yeah, we basically just walk around, go wherever, and uh, we go to a cafe. So if you know in Amsterdam, they have cafes, and the cafes, as you would think, Amsterdam does sell some questionable stuff. And I can tell you what exactly that stuff is. If you're old enough, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. If you're young, don't ask your parents. Anyways, so yeah, so we decided to get brownies and we a milkshake, which were actually really, really good. It tasted fantastic. And then, um, and then we we proceeded to go back to our hotel room, and yeah, so we go back to our hotel room. On the way back, we pass this shop. So the shop sells um, a specific type of food, if we're to say, I guess. And this food happens to be a type of fun guy. Um, so if you are old enough to understand what I'm talking about, you know exactly what kind of fungi, what this fungi can do and the type of fungi. It, he had a bunch of different ones. And so he went in there to get something. So I'm waiting outside, whatever. And he comes out, he's like, Oh dude, I got these things. I'm like, do you want some? I'm like, no, I'm good. He's like, they're called philosopher stones. So I'm like, why are they called philosopher stones? He's like, I don't know. But the guy said they were good. And I was like, whatever man it's your life so he proceeds to down the whole bag i'm like i don't know if you should have done that he's like oh, i'll be okay so as we're walking back to the hotel you know i want to walk around look at more stuff whatever so we're walking around and all of a sudden he starts just freaking out like looking around and starts freaking out I'm like dude are you okay he goes dude we gotta go I'm like go where he's like we, we, we gotta go back to the hotel i'm like why i want to keep looking he's like we, we, we just gotta go i'm like oh, fine so apparently he's tweaking out on me. I can't enjoy the city. And uh, so we, we start heading back to the hotel room. Well, when we first got to Amsterdam, it was early middle of the day. You know, lights were out, like the sun was out. You know, it was a beautiful day, no clouds or whatever. And uh, so as we start walking back, it's dark at this time or getting darker at this time. And... Um, we start heading back to the hotel and I look around, you know, enjoying the sights. And then I, you know, I can, I, as we get closer to the hotel and I'm looking at the windows and all of a sudden I see this, this woman and she is in lingerie, chilling on this chair, just in the window. I'm like, what the heck is this? You know, in a red light behind her. So once again, if you're old enough, you understand where we were. And, um, yeah, well, it turns out, and our hotel, I think, was just, like, around the block. Well, it turned out that we ended up getting a hotel <laughs> in the red light district. And you can't tell you're in the red light district until late in the evening is when all the girls come out and the shops are open for these, for the ladies of the night. And it looks like a regular place in the middle of the day. You don't even, don't even notice it. So, sure enough, I look around and realize we're in the red light district. And it's the funniest thing in the world. And it's really a culture shock, really, because you don't realize that that type of practice is completely legal in Amsterdam and in certain parts of Europe. So, to see it just, like, displayed out in the open like that is really a weird experience. You don't see that for sure in the States, absolutely not. Well, unless you go to Nevada or whatever, Las Vegas, the outskirts of the city or whatever. But, um... So yeah, it was really weird, especially like in the middle of the day, evening-ish. I mean, the sun was still out, but you know, and the, your kids can be walking around and stuff like that. And it's, to them, it's perfectly normal. It's not nothing crazy, nothing taboo. It's just perfectly normal to them. And so, so my buddy's freaking out. And I'm like, okay, well, let's get inside. I'm like, you, you got a freaking hotel in the like district. He's like, I didn't know, but we need to get back. I'm like, whatever. 
So, um, so we get back in the hotel room. I said, you know what? I'll take the floor. You need to use the bed. You're freaking out on me. I don't want you to keep continue to freak out on me. So we proceed through the rest of the evening. Is him, me on the floor trying to trying to get some sleep, and he is continuously moaning and groaning and like talking to himself and screaming completely tweaked out of his mind holy cow did he have a bad trip you know i look back and i'm like maybe i should have handled it a little bit better but i kept laughing the whole time um finally he falls asleep finally i fall asleep and we decide the next morning we're like okay it's time to go back so we had get back on the train head back to base uh and we never spoke of our trip to anyone <laughs> ever <laughs> ever again so yeah, you know, it was it was a weird thing, weird experience. The guy was awesome. He was a really cool guy, but questionable decisions, questionable choices on his part. Um, but for me, it was a free trip to Amsterdam. I didn't have to pay for anything. So, you know, sweet. I got to experience Amsterdam. Oh, and actually, first thing, too, when you first got to Amsterdam, in Amsterdam, it's perfectly legal for guys, specifically guys, to go and, you know, pee in public. Mind you, you can't just go and go to some random mall and just start peeing. They have urinals in the middle of the busy street, of the busy walkways and stuff. For like a four-stall urinal, like one on each side, like north, south, east, west, for guys to use. So you can sit there in the middle of the day in the street or whatever, sidewalk, and just pee. And, I mean, people can see you peeing. They can't see see stuff, but they understand what is going on at these places. And once again, no one bats an eye, no one cares. It's the weirdest thing ever, but it was an awesome experience. And I'm like, I got to pee in public and not get arrested, you know, like you normally do if you're walking around drunk. So, anyways, that's my armor story. That's my buddy George, and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you want to continue these army stories. If not, or press like, whatever. I don't care. I would really appreciate a like or something anyways. If you want to keep seeing Destiny's video, I have a bunch of Destiny stuff too as well. And yeah, that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.